Running low on groceries? Why not visit realvalueiga.com and experience our new online shopping platform. Place your order, then go out and enjoy your day to spend more time with friends and family. Delivery available within select locations or in store pickup available. Sounds simple, right? It is. Stress less, live more with Real Value IGA Online Store, where good food begins. Pathway Restorative Wellness Clinic exists to improve the lives of children, adults, and all the clients with a range of diagnoses not limited to autism, stroke, arthritis, brain injuries, and depression which hinder their ability to perform everyday tasks such as dressing, feeding, toileting, and grooming. Our licensed occupational therapist uses science, creativity, and compassion to design a client-specific care plan that restores and maintains skills required for daily living, work, and school. The Pathway Clinic is located on Morris Bishop Highway but we extend services to schools and homes. Contact us at with vitamins that could only be one thing it's a rica almond beverage great on its own are a lovely addition to smoothies so call superb distributors on 435-2948 or visit us at tempe st george's today remember rica is life and life is rica we got the call on our way home that something was wrong when we got here, we saw that the entire house was engulfed in flames. Just sitting there and looking at you, basically your whole life investment going up in flames. It did take a toll on us as a family. Once we decided to rebuild, the thought came up to use the Housing Authority of Grenada. After they sent in their quotation, which we thought was very, very reasonable, we decided to go with Housing Authority of Grenada. They were very helpful. They visited the site weekly, the staff was very professional. The contractor was very professional. They delivered our house on time. The quality of work was amazing. And as you can see today, we are not disappointed. I would definitely recommend Housing Authority of Grenada for all your construction needs. With their affordable costs, high level of customer service, guidance, and building expertise, they will help you as they help us. Diamond. Diamond. All right, so we want to welcome everyone to tonight's program. Folks, this is where it all happens. The good, the bad, the Mikey. There's just no other. You understand? We try to make it a little different on the minutes, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. So blessings to you. I hope that you had yourself a good day. Uh, your family, your good, and everything like that. You know what I mean? You're right. So folks, let's, let's take a look at what's making the headlines. Grenada's COVID-19 cases continue on the rise. We'll talk about that. Young man dies uh, suddenly in town. I always say town, you know, St. George's. And a fire at the St. George's Market. And a member of the Royal, members of the Royal Grenada Police Force, well, uh, they engaged with the students of the Happy Hill Secondary School. And it was, as I understand it, a really good experience. And the body of a two-year-old that... Um, you know, they, they were searching for his body in Trinidad and Tobago. His, the, the youth man, his body was found. We'll tell you more about that in a while. We got to let you know that the headlines was brought to you through the kind compliments of Coates Grenada Limited, Digicel, Nawasa, the Housing Authority of Grenada, and of, co of course, uh, Real Value IGA Supermarket, and of course, a Pathway Clinic. So um, we want to say thank you to all our sponsors. All right, folks, we're coming back. And remember, um, someone sharing tonight's program will receive some free credits compliments Digicel. And that person, well, 
could be you. So when we come back, it could be real news in all the Lily Lolo's race. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store now has amazing deals, special discounted prices on wedding sets, watches and selected jewelry. We sell top brand jewelry and watches like Citizen, Guess and Klein and G-Shock all at the best prices in Grenada. We also buy scrap gold and offer the best deals and customer service on the island. Opening hours Mondays to Saturdays 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store located at the Esplanade Mall, St. George's, Grenada. Visit our brand new remodeled store or call us on telephone number 414-3114-232-1234 or WhatsApp 533-1581. Sale is on for a limited time only. only. Collect, share, and win with Coca-Cola. Here's your chance to win one of three Sony PlayStation 5 consoles when you enjoy original Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola No Sugar. Collect specially marked labels and spell the word magic. Submit the labels in an envelope with your name, address, and contact information and drop in entry boxes provided at major supermarkets. 22 lucky winners can also win great weekly prizes including Samsung Smart TVs, Samsung Mobile Phones, Samsung Tablets, and free Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Real magic. See press or online for more details. Terms and conditions apply. All you, we would like to officially welcome you again to tonight's program. If you brought somebody with you, well, hello to you and thank you for so doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're doing it. Yeah, you see like all the church does do it. Yeah, man, bring a friend. You know what I mean? Right. Okay, so let's get into the business and see what's happening. So the first thing that we have for you is a, a notice. All right. And uh, the public, you are hereby informed uh, that as a result of construction work uh, that is taking place at the Mount Pleasant area, the Mount Pleasant Point Road um, will be temporarily closed effective Wednesday, that's 11th May, until further notice. The Traffic Department of the Northern District of the Royal Grenada Police Force and the Ministry of Karyaku and the PD Martinique Affairs and local government apologizes for all inconveniences and solicits the cooperation of all motorists. All right, and they say if you want more information, you can call the station up there, you know, just to get a little update on how things are going. All right, good. We are moving on. You see, they don't work on the thing, so you know, thing, thing, thing. Anyway, lately that talk day. Will you? Well, it's, uh, you might have seen it yourself. Um, Grenada's COVID-19 situation is evolving rapidly. In fact, last night we got um, the shock of our lives when we took a look at the dashboard. The report shows uh, uh, um, that there were 270 persons that were identified as COVID-19 positive yesterday alone. And here's what, out of a total of 979 tests that were done. Now listen, there, there's a reason why all these people are testing. You understand? There is a reason why all these people testing because why all of a sudden all these people testing? People having symptoms consistent with COVID-19. Imagine there's a test positivity rate of now 27.6%. Hmm? And our active COVID-19 cases are now gone past the 1,000 mark. In fact, it is now 1,049. All the one bell to ring, I ring one for all the ping a ling a ling. Study all ahead. You understand? Study all ahead. It is about time. It's it's about the time for uh, personal responsibility. No complain about the government should put back in the mandate and the government and the government and the government. It is also about you and I taking the necessary steps or precautionary measures to prevent ourselves and um, from contracting or to avoid contracting COVID nineteen or even if we have we have from spreading it to others. Imagine you, you are still people doing that, that shoopiness in the place. Shoopiness still in the place. You understand? Coming in office, a man coming in the office that I was into and whistling, whistling like office space here. Your boy sweating, cold sweating. Because, well, whistling is different because if, if I feel I have COVID, boy, I mean, 
I mean, you know, you're pushing it out, you know, with force. When you're whistling little, little space in 11 by 11 um, office space, something like that, you know, I mean, small size space. I mean, come on, fellas, why is that? Tell all your boys shaking there. Eh? Watch that. All your boys panicking and I'm trying to act normal. Yeah, why try to act normal? Luckily, the CSR, this customer service rep, intervene and say, well, you know, we have customers and the customers would like to hear what's going on. So probably you could ease up on the whistling a little bit. <laughs> and the parents are to sing. <laughs> John! No! Parents stop whistling and parents are to sing. And I say, oh God, no, I did Helly Mary full of grace. Yeah, you know, I mean, here do I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I feel no evil. I say, well, that is, it is a rap. Me no more call. <laughs> yeah, no. I say, today, today, I swear I was able to live past 40. You know, I mean, but just so the, body, the man just come and je listen, I kid you not. You know, I mean, just so, just so, just so, you know, I mean, eh, the man come and end me life, shot, shot. You know what I mean? I tell her I swear to her. <laughs> the lady say, the lady say, um, you know, stop, stop, you know, he's up with the whistling. The man start to sing, dog. The man start to sing. I say, well, look, trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah, boy. And the thing was important there, so that's why I didn't go. You know what I mean? But, yeah, no. I said, well, today, today, me no more call me. Whole life flashing for that, me the dog. I tell it all you. Anyway, lady, that talk. All the wrong thing I do in life. Tiffin cookies, smoking a phoenix. You know what I mean? All them things and them just flash before me. I said, Jesus, take the wheel. You know what I mean? Anyway, so going back to the point. I get serious on the business. <laughs> so, over 1,000 cases. Yes, yeah, and over a thousand cases active are talking about it. And that's people who have tested and gone through the system. But we can tell you that there are some people who are, who are doing home tests and they, they don't, they, 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 well, well, they know they are COVID, they don't call nobody and tell nobody nothing. So they do the, the home test and they, they organize the business. So, and there are also other people who have symptoms and it's a common cold or it's a draft. Yeah, you know all of a sudden it's draft. What is real draft in all the Lily Lulu? You know what I mean? So, yeah, boy. So, all you just study all ahead. All right? Study all ahead. 270 cases alone yesterday. We are moving on. Um, today um, was not ordinary day for our family, boy. A youth man, boy. I, 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 I just remember, I think I remember him from school. From here, from Happy Hill. The son might have been about a farm below me or something like that. You know, so he might be in his mid he in his mid thirties. They're about. Died. Suddenly. Shane is an ex uh, um uh, prison officer. You understand? They say that he wasn't feeling too well. You know, and he went to seek medical attention at the St. George's Health Center. And then he was referred to the General Hospital. And on his way there, collapsed and died. You know, just so, just so, just so. People wondering what's going on, what's going on with the man all the time, what's going on with him. Just collapsed and died. You know, um, the ambulance was summoned and so on. Yeah, and then imagine he was later pronounced dead. So, you know, they would have to know the de do the necessary business um, to find out exactly what happened. You know, but yes, he complained of feeling unwell. He say, see, well, I don't, I don't feel right, you know, and he go for, he like a check up and thing by the, by the health center, you know. And they say, well, you know what, maybe you should, um, here's thing, 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 go to the hospital, so, 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 so. The man leave there, and on his way to the hospital, he collapsed and died. 
taxi just so you leave home normal normal and then you're just young man telling you young man young fella you understand so it's really tough so yeah boy all you the next thing we have to tell all you about there was a fire this morning at the St. George's Market. It happened at an appliance repair shop. Destroyed the contents of that shop. According to our sources, the fire happened just around 3 p.m. And uh, the, um, they are saying that the, um, the fire truck, uh, they, they came in quick, quick timing. So then they were able to um, get the fire under control. You understand? So, uh, but oh gosh, it's not ready for you yet. You know what I mean? But yeah, boy, so that's the situation. You understand? Um, luckily, um, it wasn't as like, like, you know, other buildings were not destroyed because you know when there fire there's fire happening in these places um you're likely to hear that there are four five six seven units um that that was affected in this case i guess because of the the quick response um by the fire department of the royal grenada police force um you know they were able to contain this fire in with, with, within a reasonable timing all right so um and there you see in the aftermath of, of the whole business understand we are moving on how we're looking for time and again the police say that they are investigating um, the uh, the circumstances um, surrounding that that fire <clears throat> all right I guess they will talk to the um, the owner of that store you know of that unit there and find out what's going on you leave something plug on or you know what I mean anyway they lead that dog on the lighter side of things because, you know, sometimes the news was heavy, we had, to, we had to lighten it up, you know what I mean? So, on the lighter side of things, members of the Royal Grenada Police Force, they engaged with students of the Happy Hill Secondary School. You know, it was about um, talking about bullying. Bullying. And, and other related matters. You know, um, it is something that is that is very prevalent among school children. You know, students who have more confidence than others or think they do. You know, they pick on the, those who are a little melancholy, those who are a little quiet and, you know, reserved or say and do things that would embarrass them. You know, take advantage of, advantage of certain situations and scenarios where their peers is concerned. So the police thought it fitting to go into those schools and it, they, it's, it's like they, they're on tour, you know? And they are talking to the students about that. The effects of bullying, how you identify bullying, whether you are a bully or you are bullied. You know, it was just yesterday I was telling somebody, I mean, bullying has its advantages, but that might... Be too risky. Sometimes it, it didn't work learning through that process. But the disadvantages that come with bullying for the bullied, it's, it's just not good. It, it messes you up mentally. It messes you up. If you ain't strong enough, I tell you all you. If you ain't strong enough, parents, talk to all the children. Make sure nobody ain't bullying them. Ask them how their day was, what kind of experiences they had. Because sometimes they come home and they don't say nothing. I was one of those who was so bullied in my time that I felt like I, I, I was a burden. I was a burden to people because they don't approve of the way I look. Specific to my facial paralysis. So I cried and I hide. Big people in the village calling me all kind of names. Children in the school calling me all kind of names. 
at one point in time, <laughs> it was like the norm. My day would start and end with people telling me things, calling me ugly name, twist, cross. Oh, can I funny be this? Man watching that you and laugh. They going in a little corner and they laughing. So when lunch time come and think you're staying inside, you don't go outside because you don't want nobody to laugh at you, you should be there. You know what I mean? And when you see certain people in the village passing by, you running and hide. Below that shin leaf and thing because, you know, that time I small and pit it. So I hide in behind anything. When you hear voices around the corner, you hide. You understand? Know what, what that has done to and for me is that I have learned to, this, to value myself. Understand what my worth is. I face my fears by using the things that people laugh about me to earn myself a living. And I hope that that can be an example for others who are bullied. You're bullied by the size of your head. You're bullied by the shape of your shoulders, the length of your arms. Try to see if you can turn that around. Do you understand? Use that to your advantage one way or the next. I hope children are listening to me. Your parents, you have to listen and tell the children. You understand? Right now, there's nothing anybody could say to me that is going to make me feel bad. Well, unless you tell me my shoes stink. You know, that way that is my fault. To change my socks a little more often. Other than that, what you going to tell me? There's nothing. <laughs> yeah, no. There is nothing you could tell me about my physical appearance that is going to make me feel bad. Nothing. You understand? So for those of you who are being bullied one way or the next, and sometimes the bully is so subtle, eh? You experience it in the workplace, and you don't even realize it. I ain't only talking about children, but even macho people. You get bullied by your bosses, by your supervisors. They could do the thing now, you know, but they go tell you, wait. Bully! All that is bully! They could give you the thing now. They could give you no, you need a you need a job letter. The, all they have to do is to press print, you know. Pull up the file and press print, they go tell you come for it tomorrow. You know what they're talking about. You know what they're talking about. Or when they're driving, they realize you're busy and you want to pass it. They're taking their time. Bully. In these subtle ways. You understand? Taking advantage of certain situations. Talk to all the children and parents and make sure nobody is bullying them. Because trust me, oh God. It ain't pretty. It ain't pretty. So going back to the point, the Royal Grenada Police Force thought it necessary to speak to the students about bullying. And so they did. But then they didn't want to make it too heavy. So they incorporated some entertainment with that as well. And of course, that was also well received you understand by the students of the and i like the fact that they went to happy secondary school and me old school too <laughs>
Yes, I all the Royal Guinea Police Force a round of applause and of course the star Samantha and I can't remember the other officer's name, but um, that was really 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 good. And I said, oh, look at my clap on the program now, all the thing in my yo, look here. Getting people are clap on the program now, man. Why is that one dog? Yeah, man. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Happy old secondary. Blessings to all the two. You know what I mean? I mean that I mean, I mean school. Take all the time with us. Well, yeah. Let's go back down into some business now. The search for a two-year-old Kimani Francis ended it in tragedy. As the boy's body was discovered shortly before 11 a.m. today. That's in Trinidad. Well, the world became aware of that situation there. Uh, was it yesterday? In most cases. Listen, these people and them search over this. They people don't sleep. Last night, from the time he disappeared. Yeah, all right? His body was found in the Guapo River. An area that was searched several times by the rescue group. On Monday that was a tough one because many people who became aware of the story were hoping that his body was found that he was found in fact and would have been found alive only two years old I actually spent five hours in the river yesterday searching every part of the river on that terrain you know shifting alligator aside trying to bring some sort of relief some sort of love to the family the saying it takes a village to raise a child rang true on Monday for Point Fortin residents and they took the commitment a step further with the entire community coming together from Monday all of Monday night and into Tuesday morning to locate missing two-year-old Kimani Francis who reportedly walked away from his mother's Tisha village home on Monday morning never to return. Following extensive searches by the members of the Hunters Search and Rescue Team, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, members of the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force, a concerned resident who joined the search teams to help find the missing boy, was the one to make the unfortunate discovery almost 24 hours later. Reports are that Kimani's body was found in the Guapo River approximately one mile from his home at 10 a.m. It really, really hard. It really hard for us. Last night, we, we actually, as hunters, we went out there with we headlights. We, we actually chromed that exact location mm. last night too. Yesterday, we was here many occasions, not one, many. About five times we was in that exact location. I actually went down in that water too. Mm. So it really sad to know at that exact location, you know, this, the, the, the two-year-old was found by a villager. A distraught Point Fortin Mayor Salima McCray Thomas was on hand to lend support to family members who gathered at the scene of the discovery. And I just want to encourage people that, uh, you know, what can what can a little one do to to deserve, you know, such cruelty? So I want to plead to the persons out there that, you know, our children are our future, and if it is we continue to, you know, create such harm amongst our children. There's no future for us, sir. Kimani's body was removed from the Guapo area. His mother was not at the scene where his body was found on Tuesday. Crystal Wilson, TTT News. All right, all right, sorry for that. So there were a few things that I heard at the end of the clip that kind of like, I don't know, um, because she was suggesting that there's foul play, clearly, um, by the comments that she said in the end there about uh, cruelty and stuff like that. But I've not, uh, I've not um, based on um, some of the stories that I read from that, uh, uh, you know, uh, incident I, I i don't i have not seen anything suggesting that there was any sort of foul play so i'm not sure if she's just going ahead and making some sort of speculation here um so i just wanted us to be a little cautious with that part all right but uh, of course um we will have more details on that incident by tomorrow god's willing all right
Um, what else do I have to tell all you, boy? Um, that's basically it for this part of the program because I think I need to take a water break. We need to take a water break. So let's take a quick break and come back. And uh, when we come back, we will have for you the national report and as well, we'll have for you the weather. Stay tuned. Running low on groceries? Why not visit realvalueiga.com and experience our new online shopping platform. Place your order, then go out and enjoy your day to spend more time with friends and family. Free delivery available within select locations or in-store pickup available. Sounds simple, right? It is. Stress less, live more with Real Value IGA Online Store, where good food begins. Pathway Restorative Wellness Clinic exists to improve the lives of children, adults, and older clients with a range of diagnoses not limited to autism, stroke, arthritis, brain injuries, and depression, which hinder their ability to perform everyday tasks such as dressing, feeding, toileting, and grooming. Our licensed occupational therapist uses science, creativity, and compassion to design a client-specific care plan that restores and maintains skills required for daily living, work, and school. The Pathway Clinic is located on Morris Bishop Highway, but we extend services to schools and homes. Contact us at 473-422-7232. and packed with vitamins that could only be one thing it's a Rika almond beverage great on its own or a lovely addition to smoothies so call superb distributors on 435-2948 or visit us at Tempe St. George's today remember Rika is life and life is Rika we got the call on our way home that something was wrong when we got here, we saw that the entire house was engulfed in flames. Just sitting there and looking at you, basically your whole life investment going up in flames. It did take a toll on us as a family. Once we decided to rebuild, the thought came up to use the Housing Authority of Grenada. After they sent in their quotation, which we thought was very, very reasonable, we decided to go with Housing Authority of Grenada. They were very helpful. They visited the site weekly, the staff was very professional. The contractor was very professional. They delivered our house on time. The quality of work was amazing. And as you can see today, we are not disappointed. I would definitely recommend Housing Authority of Grenada for all your construction needs. With their affordable costs, high level of customer service, guidance, and building expertise, they will help you as they help us. What does it take to be an amazing woman? Lots of me time. Amazing women are classy, fancy, and a little sassy. It's the drink for me. Cheers. Sometimes you've got to show them who's boss. Alpha male? Nah, alpha females are more amazing. Cheers to secure in the bag. We make time for ourselves, for work, friends, and we certainly make time for passion. We're simply amazing. Amazing cream liqueur for the amazing woman in you.
Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store now has amazing deals, special discounted prices on wedding sets, watches and selected jewelry. We sell top brand jewelry and watches like Citizen, Guess and Klein and G-Shock all at the best prices in Grenada. We also buy scrap gold and offer the best deals and customer service on the island. Opening hours Mondays to Saturdays 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store located at the Esplanade Mall, St. George's, Grenada. Visit our brand new remodeled store or call us on telephone number 414-3114-232-1234 or WhatsApp 533-1581. Sale is on for a limited time only. only. Welcome to Yogo. Most of you know us for our food delivery service and our food pass for free delivery from restaurants. But did you know you can also use us for grocery deliveries too? We've just added another 5,000 plus new items to Yogo Supermarket. And stay updated as we add more products and vendors. Yogo Services is our convenient skip the line offering. Let us pay your electric, water, and other utility bills for you. With us, you will be able to buy tickets, pay your rent, schedule bookings, and other services. Need a ride to get somewhere? Give Yogo Lift a try. Select your pickup location and destination location and wait for our driver to collect you. Never have to worry about how you're going to get to a place again. Please see website or app for our service locations. And sign up now. Lower House supports the repeal of final COVID regulation. We'll have details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Tuesday, May 10th, 2022, I am Chrisan Mitchell. Leader of government business in the lower house, Honorable Gregory Bowen, says the time has come for Grenadians to collectively find the best solution to the COVID-19 situation. He made the call while presenting the motion to repeal the final COVID regulation, the Quarantine Act, during a sitting of the House of Representatives on Tuesday. On April 4th, 2022, Governor General Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade revoked the declaration of the state of emergency proclaimed on January 11th, 2021. Since then, the country has experienced ease in restrictions to bring the country and economy back to the pre-COVID period. Minister Bowen explained that the solution does not always have to come from government alone, but collectively a more permanent and widespread resolution can be reached. It cannot be a legislative matter only. Our citizens must recognize where we came from, where we have arrived at because of the collective responsibility taken by everyone. There are periods before that when we were facing stark disaster, economic disaster, whether we were pushed or whether we recognized and made our correct decision we came out from one position into a position where we can sustain ourselves. And that was because all units, all organizations, the entire country work together. We're removing the restrictions, but we must collectively continue to work together to do what we have to do without being forced to do so. Because if we learn, we have learned from one situation before, and if we continue to build on this, because of this situation, we will be able to take care of other situations that are facing us. 
Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says implementing mandatory legislation will only be met by resistance and rebellion. Dr. Mitchell explained that his government maintains its position that no laws will be passed to mandate Grenadians to be vaccinated or wear masks to protect themselves and their loved ones. I don't see why a government has to pass a law for me to protect my health. Even at the height of it, when people are saying, well, we need to do more drastic measures, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> And, and I said, well, I don't know that maybe in an autocratic system you may be able to get away with that, as some countries appear to be getting away with it. But you try that here, I don't know you're going to be successful. And what you'll create, in fact, more dissension and more difficulties and confusion in the society. We don't need to keep this regulation in place, all the regulation in place for each of us to be responsible. Health Minister Honorable Nicola Steele said although government is removing the final of the COVID-19 regulations, the onus is on everyone to be responsible, to remain safe as government continues to work towards preserving lives and livelihoods. In our constant, constant, constantly striving to find that balance between life and livelihoods, we find that it is appropriate to ease the restrictions. And this last one is to regularize previously easing the Quarantine Act, which would have caused persons coming into Grenada if they were not vaccinated uh, to be placed in quarantine. So, Mr. Speaker, we still have, we still have to keep our guard up, but we must find that balance, and we continue to find that balance. And this is yet another step. It is our sincere hope, as it is in most governments throughout the world, that we continue moving forward, that we continue to have COVID-19 behind us. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says the easement in regulations should not be taken to mean it's business as usual as the country is not yet in the safe zone with COVID-19. Dr. Mitchell told members of the lower house on Tuesday that the recent increases in COVID statistics as reported by the Ministry of Health is worrying. On Monday, May 9th, the Ministry of Health recorded 270 new confirmed cases, which now takes the number of active cases to 1,049. Dr. Mitchell said while this strain of the virus is not as deadly as the previous ones, Grenadians should not drop their guards, but instead find ways to remain safe during this uncertain period. What worries me, Mr. Speaker, is that there is that perception that we have crossed the, the, the line. <laughs> we have reached the end of the, the, the race. No, because I've seen us like dropping our guard, so to speak, you know, not adhering to fundamental methods of protecting ourselves. In fact, in any given situation, even when you don't have a crisis, you still have to be careful about what you do and your approach to things around you because we have viruses around us all day, all the time. But I am worried about the tendency to feel that we have crossed that line and that is back to business as usual. It appears that we're done with this thing or we have not been done with it because it hasn't done, been done with us. Health Minister Honorable Nicola Steele and Tourism Minister Honorable Clarice Modest Cohen both made their call for Grenadians to be vigilant and pay close attention to the COVID-19 climate so that adequate individual plans can be devised. They said personal responsibility must be the watchword going forward. Our cases are going up, but our hospitalizations are not. And as such, we continue to seek the blessings of God, but I want to say that we should not take for granted these easings, and we should all do what is necessary, which is vaccination, which is wearing our masks, wherever we feel that we are at risk, taking the necessary precautions 
um, that one would take for all, all um, of the various diseases or viruses that are transferred or respiratory viruses. We as individuals, our government is doing well, our ministry is doing well, we have to as individuals take full responsibility for our health and do what is necessary. So I just want to, in support of what the Minister for Health has said, let us take responsibility, let us wear our masks, let us sanitize, let us wash our hands and do whatever is required to ensure that we're safe. To date, 38,237 individuals are fully vaccinated and 5,251 have taken only one dose of the vaccine. There are five vaccines available on island, Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Janssen & Janssen, Moderna, and the most recently, Sinopharm. This is The National Report. The news will continue after the break. COVID-19 spreads from person to person through the droplets that are produced when someone coughs or sneezes, which makes it easy to spread between people in close contact. Now let's get prepared to stay healthy. To reduce your chance of catching or spreading COVID-19, practice these simple everyday preventative measures. Droplets can also land on surfaces, so ensure that you wash your hands frequently for a minimum of 20 seconds or sing the happy birthday song twice. Avoid touching your face, especially your eyes, nose, and mouth. If soap and water are not readily available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with an alcohol content between 60 and 90%. 70% is ideal. When you cough or sneeze, cover your nose and mouth with a flexed elbow or a tissue. Dispose of the tissue immediately and then wash your hands. If you notice someone has a fever and cough or other symptoms of respiratory illness, avoid close contact when possible. Let's all do our part to ensure that each and every Grenadian remains healthy. Our health is our collective responsibility. Welcome back. Members of the lower house on Tuesday supported a motion to include the osprey bird as the latest symbol under the representation of the people election symbols amendment regulations. The symbol osprey bird will be used by the newest political party, Power. There are currently 28 symbols included in the schedule to the act to be incorporated on the ballot papers for the upcoming general elections. The motion was presented by Leader of Government Business in the House, Honorable Gregory Bowen. We have so many of those, and we have to come here all the time to give effect to the symbol. And I do believe that the, maybe not cohesion, not true law, but maybe just you speak with this, maybe some of them don't know that you have so many symbols never used. And they may even attach more sentimental values to some of the things that they did not come up with, but are already sitting there. So in, in, in time to come, Mr. Speaker, perhaps we can clean this thing up to make just our workings be more efficient in every aspect of the administration of this country. Parliamentary Representative for St. David Oliver Joseph said while he gives support to the motion, he remains concerned about the continuous registration of election symbols. He explained that there are several symbols that remain unused by political parties. We have currently 28 symbols in the schedule to the act. A candidate or a party can choose from it or request a new symbol. Well, Mr. Speaker, we came here and TGM, that registered as a party, requested a new symbol. They did not choose from the 20-something. And we agree and we had a new symbol. Now you have a candidate requesting a new symbol to be placed on the ball of people in your COVID election, and not to, that's okay. But if you have 
20 of these symbols already, and you keep adding, it would not be better to see that if you are going to contest the election, you should choose one of these symbols, otherwise we end up with a whole book of symbols. You know? We have here now, we are proving a new symbol, and we just keep as long as the request come in, because the law allows it. So I'm not suggesting any change to the resolution as presented. All I'm doing, making an observation that I think we should deal with, maybe at some time in the future, because we're going to end up, as I said, with the symbol schedule bigger than the act itself. The Ministry of Sports continues to welcome teams from around the world as part of its sports tourism strategy to boost economic activity in Grenada. Public Relations Officer Karine Morin Alexander has more in this report. Two cricket teams, the Ampliforth All Boys from England and the Trinbago Leatherbacks from Trinidad and Tobago, are currently on tour in Grenada playing friendly matches with various teams on the island. On Monday, the visiting teams played against each other at the Tantin playing field. Both teams are happy to be in the Spice Isle playing lovely cricket and at the same time enjoying the Grenadian hospitality, culture and beautiful scenery. We had two close games in two lovely places in La Sagesse and then in St. Mark's. Um, I understand St. Mark's is a big football venue, but the cricket and the hospitality was superb. The driving out and, and getting to know a little bit of Grenada, all that has been fantastic. Uh, the hospitality has been second to none. Um, we came second in both games, but close games, um, but we, we're here to enjoy ourselves as a master's team. A lot of guys who have um, you know, retired and so on. And we, we are here with some wives and some friends and just trying to have a good time and play a few games and keep ourselves fit. The Ampliforth team consists of a 26-member travelling party. Two members of the team spoke about the great time they're having here in Grenada. The facilities are great. I mean, some of the settings we played matches in have been excellent. We were up at Victoria Park yesterday. Um, sadly, we didn't get to play in the National Stadium, but uh, down here as well today, I mean, it's just beautiful scenery and lovely, lovely weather for it as well. Yeah, the same. I think it's safe to say that we've been, the 26 travelling party have been looking forward to this for probably a year now. Um, and it's just great to be here um, and, and great to meet all the locals. We, at the end of the game yesterday, we were playing cricket with a couple of the local kids as well, which was just great. They were very keen um, and they loved it. And it was just great for us just, just to be out here, really. They commended the Ministry of Sports and the Ministry of Tourism for welcoming their trip to Grenada and encouraged them to continue their work in promoting sports tourism. They were particularly impressed with how Sports Minister Honorable Yulon Bean Hosford has embraced their presence on the island. She's very warm and welcoming to the, to the, to the, to the, to the teams and um, I think that with her personality that, and her spirit that I think that uh, sports tourism will go really far in this island. Um, uh, I think that she's on the right track. I think the, uh, the ministry is on its right track as regards to carrying things forward, both in a, another vein of um, tourism to the island. Sports tourism has a big scope, and I hope, for, I hope that uh, they will be able to expound on it and take it a little further, a lot further, actually. The Ampliforth All Boys team played a friendly on Tuesday with the Junior Murray team at Progress Park and on Thursday against Enslinger's team at Lassages. Meanwhile, the Trinbago Leatherbacks played their last friendly match at Lassages today with the Grenada Masters. I am Karine Marine Alexander reporting for the National Report. Thank you, Karine. That story has ended the National Report for today, Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. On behalf of the entire news and production team here at the Government Information Service, I am Chris and Mitchell saying thank you for joining us. Until next time. Thank you very much, Chris Ann, and the rest of the GIS News team. And now we'd like to take a look at the weather. What we can tell you is that the weather is expected to be for tonight uh, fair to partly cloudy. Um, <clears throat> winds uh, easterly to east, southeasterly at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Seas moderate waves 4 to 6 feet in open waters. And that's our weather report for tonight. For uh, Wednesday, the weather is expected to be mostly fair. The maximum temperature 30.5 degrees Celsius and the minimum 25. Winds east, southeasterly. Um, at uh, 13 to uh, 23 miles per hour, seas moderate waves of 4 to 6 feet in open waters. That's your weather report for tonight and tomorrow. 
we see a couple of you on um, YouTube. Uh, we have Calvin, we have It's Clovey, we have Wendy, we have Suzanne, we have Glenora, um, we have my mom, and, uh, and everyone else who's currently on YouTube. We will say hello to you and thank you for joining us. Likewise, we would like to say hello to the folks who are currently tuned in on Facebook. We have Kirin, we have Zaka, we have Mishi, um, we have Dillian, we have Lintana, we have my mom again. Um, did I say Michelle? We have Michelle with us as well. We have Hazel. Good night to you, Hazel. God bless you and your family. We have Jane. Hi, Jane. What's going on? Velma is with us as well. Cynthia, I see, um, is there as well. I can only say hello to you if I see you commenting, right? Because I do not know that you're there otherwise. Okay. Um, who else is there? Uh, Bermuda. I see Bermuda is with us as well. Della is with us. We have to, uh, and Dela is with us as well. We have, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. We have Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. And Vicky again. And we have Gemma again. We have Michelle. We have Eunice. We have Angel. We have Shirin. Uh, he's not quiet. You're just not hearing him. We have Yvonne. We have Timuron. And uh, uh, Leonette. Uh, hello to you as well, okay? Yeah, it's Clovia. Yeah, see you there. Uh, and everyone else Practically everyone else was there with us. Uh, Marilyn and Williams and uh, Terry. Javar. Yes, Kevin, I see you. Nigel. Agnes. Um, praise and worship. Zephyrin. Cindy again. Um, Mario. Monet. Mm, Liz. Uh, Veronica. Theresa, Judy, Jenlyn, and uh, well, everybody else, blessings to you. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. We all say, Ja! No, take care, all the best.